Breaking news, uh, this is live pictures. Uh, former President Trump is about to land in New Jersey, and then he's going to go straight to his club in Bedminster, where we anticipate he's, well, we know he's going to meet with donors and anticipate he'll give a speech about 30 minutes long. Uh, he, of course, uh, pleaded not guilty to 37 counts of handling classified documents in Florida today. And I just want to show you a new image, because we've been showing you one courtroom uh, image uh, of the court drawing where he was standing uh, alongside uh, his, uh, his lawyers and Walt Nada in the background. Here's a plane uh, landing in Newark. Uh, but we do now have this one, which is um, still doesn't really look like him, I'll be honest, maybe 30 years ago, but um, it, it, crossing his arms. Um, Ty Cobb is with me, of course, former Trump White House lawyer. So Ty, um, here's the thing. He, he, our reporters who were in the room s describe him, his plane is landing here, describe him as um, slumped over, scowling, uh, looking dejected at moments, for lack of a better word. Um, uh, and he was silent, right? Obviously, he didn't address mm -hmm. the court at all. His lawyer did all the talking for him. Um, you've represented him in the past. Do you read anything into this? Um, you know, some. I, you know, I didn't actually represent him personally. I represented the White, the White House, House but I was advising him. Um, and th that's Trump, you know, when he basically wishes he was somewhere else. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he's not in control. Uh, he doesn't want to be there. Um, he doesn't want other people think to think he has to be there. Uh, so he's he's trying to dominate it, dominate the dynamic simply by. But he thinks the being slumping and the scowl shows his power. Power. Yes, absolutely. Right. So it's not a revealing moment. It's no, a purposeful moment. It's a purposeful moment. Okay, which I, I think is obviously significant that you share that. So, um, did you ever think you'd see a day like this? Um, you know, from the time I was growing up in Kansas to today, I I hoped uh, all my life as an American that I would never see a day like this. Uh, I think this is a very sad day for America. It's uh, the gravity of it can't be overstated. Um, so no, I, I I never thought I'd see a day like today. And and now here we are talking about what happens next. So while. Well, not of a Trump aide, right, who's right. by his side right now on that plane, going to get off and be by his side in Bedminster, uh, alleged co-conspirator uh, with him at the restaurant, with him every step of the way, right? No separation between the two. He's going to be arraigned in two weeks because he doesn't have representation right. yet, Ty. Um, do you see any reason why Nada would ever, would ever, and I've been asking this to everyone, why he would ever turn on Trump, but also, given what we know in the indictment, do they need him to? So those are two great questions, and they are as distinct as you put them. Yeah. Uh, one, do I think um, somebody may be able to convince him that his, uh, notwithstanding how proud he is of his service uh, to the president, not how, notwithstanding how proud he is of you know, his belief that he's still serving the country by serving the president, it, that that'll make it very hard for him to flip yeah. unless he gets representation that is able to uh, persuade him of how misplaced that loyalty is and how overwhelming the facts are. I heard one guest uh, earlier today talk about the uh, uh, perceived uh, unlikelihood of not of being convicted. He's dead. I mean, they have him on tape. They have him. They have pictures. Uh, they they've have, got text. They, they've got video. They, they've, they've got, got pictures. They've got yeah. pictures that he took and sent. Um, you know, there's and that he moved the boxes and the. You know, as a result, the attorneys weren't able to find the documents. You know, he's definitely in substantial jeopardy, and um, and I think will will be convicted uh, unless he testifies. And um, on the issue of do they need him, they need him a lot less now than they once did, uh, and particularly um, you know his initial denials, which were unfortunate. Um, you know, they, that, that right. may contribute to the government deciding just to proceed, you know. Not even give them the chance. Yeah, they don't just, need it. Just to proceed without uh, another offer. So Cy Vance, former DA here in, in New York, was on earlier. And we were talking about uh, the Attorney General of New York, Letitia James. She is saying that everything else is going to go on the back burner because of this case. She was including uh, Alvin Bragg. She also was including yet uncharged crimes in Georgia. Uh, which she said would take a back burner. Of course, there's also the potential of the special counsel to bring January 6th charges. I mean, there's a lot of possible indictments yes. coming down the pike. Do you agree with her analysis that this has now become the single most important thing and that the system, the judges, will that there will be a, a sense of either 
hold off on indictments or hold off on cases until this is done? So I uh, agree with her assessment without her assessment. I mean, this is the most important thing uh, going on. Her assessment is telling to me because I believe, uh, as would be typical, given the number of prosecutors involved, that there's some coordination going on, you know, about dates or about times or about we want this witness now and you can have him win. Um, but the, uh, the reality is um, I do believe that everything will take, uh, take a backseat to this, uh, with the exception of January 6th, which will continue to proceed. But I'm, I don't think that will proceed quickly to an indictment. Uh, I think that decision will be delayed uh, and that they'll, they're still on the fence about an indictment or a, or a full report. A report. All right. Thank you very much, Ty My Cobb. My pleasure.